Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today it is time for a video all about the L'Occitane range of perfumes. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. It's all about perfumes, so do subscribe. I have new videos every week and join our little perfume world here. So L'Occitane is basically a French brand um, based in, I think, Provence, down in the south of France. Now, um, I've actually been down there and like where it's headquartered and holidayed in Provence and it is the most amazing place because it literally just smells of like flowers and nature everywhere. Like the moment you get there, I remember getting off the train and it just was immediately hit by like a lavender smell. Um, they grow all the famous lavender fields there and lots and lots of beautiful ingredients. And I guess that's where this brand comes from and all its fragrances are kind of inspired by those type of things. So they of course make lots of body products, um, but they also have quite a few fragrances which um, do have accompanying body products. So I thought I'd take you through the whole range, everything that's available now. Now, and I have some as well to show you. So first of all we have um, Herbe, I think it might be pronounced, um, which comes with this really beautiful um, green packaging you can see. I think this is the latest release from Locker 10, 2019 release. A really interesting bottle with this plastic lid which has this like um, straw wraparoundy type thing. Um, this I have been wearing this morning. So when I first sprayed this, I got a fresh citrus note and that must be the bergamot in here. Um, but now in the dry down, it's become really green and it has a lot of nettle in here and I can really smell that green nettle. It's also quite grassy. And I think there's also rose hip in here as well. So to me, this actually smells almost a bit like a British, like walking outside in in sort of spring or autumn, or surrounded by nettles and rose hips and stuff. So it's very fresh. It's quite light, um, but it's very green, like super green. I guess the name Herbe and everything's green here. So this I think is a really nice, like fresh spring, or if you just want to sort of have that sort of gardeny feeling, then this is. Um, a really fresh way to get it. So another perfume which I think is quite well known from L'Occitane L'Occitane is the um, Neroli and Orchid one which is a very sort of blush pink cute packaging and um, this I think is really quite feminine it's quite light but it's also quite powdery. It has peach, orchid and fig in here as well as um, the Neroli and I really do get a sort of um, dusty peach smell in this. So it feels very pretty, very feminine. I can imagine this being worn by a sort of um, quite sophisticated um, sort of teenager. Or perhaps I can imagine walking into a very um, high end, I don't know, place in London and someone would walk by smelling this. I think it's quite a classy smell. In terms of lasting, I found that this lasted quite well. I was wearing this yesterday and um, it, I got a good few hours out of it um, and I could very much smell it while it was on me. Another fragrance which I think L'Occitane is quite well known for is the Rose one. Um, this is kind of like a quite refreshing rose I remember I first smelled this probably in Provence actually and I found I thought it was going to be super super rosy but it was actually much fresher it has lychee and um, I think raspberry notes in here and I think they really help keep this quite a fresh modern rose sometimes rose can feel a bit old-fashioned can't it but I think this is a really fresh way to get it slightly sweet very sort of young whimsical type rose not an old-fashioned scent at all and yeah I mean you can't really go wrong with rose it's a classic feminine smell um, and I think it also comes in quite a cute travel size and has loads of complimentary products that go with it so if you're a rose fan then I think this is a really nice way to get a really rosy perfume there's then a range of perfumes called Terre de Lumiere and I have here a um, flanker from the range Terre de Lumiere Low and I really like this bottle. It's very, it's kind of like a moonstone, is it? I guess hence the name Lumiere, which I think means moon. Or does it mean candle? It means light. 
<laughs> this stands for Land of Light, Terra de Lumiere. Um, but it still reminds me of Moonstone and this, like, I love, like, thick plastic lids like this. I think this is really cute pink plastic. Um, so very sort of feminine bottle and feminine packaging. This one is very classy. Uh, to me, it's almost like a Coco Mademoiselle. It's got a light, fresh peony in the first like spray, but then in the dry down, it's it just was smelling more like Coco Mademoiselle because it had musks and almonds and tonka beans in, so it was quite warm. And it's a really interesting combination of different perfumes. I really enjoyed um, trying this out and wearing this actually this week because it just felt really classy. And I guess because it's not as well known as something like Coco Mademoiselle, you're probably not going to find other people wearing it. So it was quite a unique, quite uplifting, but very, very feminine smell. The original um, Terra de Lumiere was a, it's like a honey lavender, so very Provence. Lavender is so French, so Provence, um, but it had like a sweet honey. So again, like that had the almonds, this has the honey. It also has the almonds in and the tonka beans. So quite similar, but I think a little bit heavier and a little bit sweeter. It also comes in a quite cool limited edition bottle, which has like a big um, sort of like sunshine design on it and um, really cool and quite festive for Christmas. So now let's talk about the 86 range, uh, L'Occitane and Pierre Hermé Champs, Champs Elysees. Um, this is like a whole range, um, 86 Champs Elysees, I guess is the address. In Paris, Champs Elysees is of course the, like the main road in Paris. And this is a collaboration with this guy Pierre Hermé. And I was so impressed with the lasting power of this. I have tried these before and I remember being impressed then. And like this is definitely out of all the Locatan Locatan perfumes, this range is the strongest and best for lasting. Um really, really impressed. So as the name would suggest, this one is Flower and Passion. So it's basically passion fruit and passion flower. So it definitely has a sweet passion fruitness to it, but it also has a sort of vanillary oriental note to this. It smells very similar to a Porn Thumb Martini, if you've had one of them, which has passion fruit in and vanilla syrup, I think. But it's so strong. I literally sprayed one spray, one spray, and I could smell it all day. I, I literally was just couldn't stop thinking about it because I could smell it. It was like almost dominating my senses especially for the first sort of four hours it was really quite strong and that was just from one spray i couldn't believe it so these are definitely not to be underestimated and um, very very good for lasting there's a whole bunch of other ones in this fragrant range and they're basically like a concentration of a few notes so there's mandarin and immortel um i think i'm pronouncing that right immortel was sort of like a yellowy um, sort of planty thing that you find all around um, the south of France. It also has a lot of lavender in this one, so it's kind of like a gourmand orange, lavendery, very Provence fragrance. There's then Frambois e Lavert, raspberry and matcha green tea. So you can imagine this is like a raspberry tea. So it's quite green with that sort of matey teeness, um, but then that deep raspberry as well. There's then Citron Noir, and I found this really interesting. It basically has every citrus note in it, you can imagine, but then they've got this really deep myrrh mixed in with it. So it's like super, super light, super, super heavy mixed together. So if you really like citruses, but you also want heaviness, then this is a quite a unique way of getting like a deep, oriental myrrh but very very citrus as well very interesting combo there's also cassis rhubarb um which of course is cassis and rhubarb so kind of like um a greeny slightly fruity one and um, but predominantly quite green again with lavender in so this does smell like sort of being outside smelling the fields and the flowers of provence there's then figure and rose so fig and rose this one i really liked it's a really really pretty rose like um, the original 
uh, rose one but with like fig added so fig helps make this a little bit warm a little bit mysterious and of course it's a much stronger iteration of rose than what's in um, original lox tan rose so i really like this as well very warm good for autumn we then have orange leaves and flowers this is basically your vetiver one it's got petigrain and mossy notes in minty grapefruit at first but then it becomes a very vetiver one so good way to get a nice strong long lasting vetiver and then lastly we have rose saffron and this of course um is quite an oriental deep dark saffrony rose um so really quite heavy and um, very sort of winter in my opinion um but again good way to get like that rosy oriental arabic vibes um with a sort of french twist so other um ranges perfumes from l'occitane you've got the verbena range which you'll probably recognize this is a very citrusy fresh one there is a summer edition very very citrus fresh refreshing all the products that go with this are really sort of like a greeny very refreshing a hot summer's day um type of smell so really lovely and exactly what i'd expect from l'occitane they also have, I think it's Pivone Flora, um, which comes in this cool kind of like in a red apple shape, reminds me a bit of the Nina Rishi one. This is a classic rose peony. It's a bit of a dupe of a sort of um, Misty Or Blooming Bouquet or Eau de Toilette Misty Or, um, that rose and peony and then a musky undertone. Um, so very pretty, very feminine, um, really lovely and I really like the bottle of this one. They also have the Vert, which is I guess famous for being like a green tea type fragrance. So that sort of, um, not green tea isn't necessarily fresh is it like it's green so it's just very very green so kind of in the way that the her bay one was very green but i'd say the vert is a bit deeper than this one this is very fresh so along with vert there's two others in this sort of same sort of design range so eau de la prairie i'm not sure how to pronounce this one this is a heavy myrrh oriental patchouli, very deep, feels a bit unisex. And there's also amber, which obviously has amber as a really main note, and then vanilla as well, so really deep vanilla. These ones all feel quite deep and wintry and oriental, and I guess it's like the French abroad in the Middle East vibes. You're probably familiar as well with L'Occitane's Cherry Blossom perfume, one of the famous cherry blossoms. This is a light, fresh cherry blossom. But just like with the rose, they've added some sweet modern scents in there. So it's got cherry and black currant. So it feels quite young, carefree, um, sweet cherry blossom. There's also a version called, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Carissier Arvis. I think it means under the cherry lights. And this has like a funky sort of floral design on it. It's very similar to the original, perhaps just a bit fresher and lighter. And then finally, there are two um, perfumes that come in these beautiful round um, bottles with nice beautiful packaging again it seems to be in a collaboration with uh, Pierre Hermé so one is Jasmine Immortal Neuroli so this of course is those three floral fragrance notes plus a bit of fresh um, lemon so very very uh, white florally and um, very floral basically and then pamplemousse rhubarb and um, pamplemousse I think is French for grapefruit so this is like grapefruit rhubarb fun fruity bright um very refreshing um m not as heavy as the other one at all so um very very like refreshing like you'd expect from L'Occitane so that's it guys I hope that's been a helpful rundown of the L'Occitane perfumes let me know what you think um do you wear any of these um do you use any of the other products um massive thank you to L'Occitane for sending me all these samples as well and I had so much fun going into the store and trying them all out and reminding myself what they all smelled like and it's brought back so many lovely memories of Provence but that's it guys so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon